Good evening, I'm Patrice Dayton, and welcome to News 10 on My Fox 10. Education Watch tops our news tonight. Illinois teachers are seeing changes in how they're being evaluated. The new rules would require student performance to be taken into account when evaluating educators. News 10's Rondrell Moore speaks with Illinois officials about the proposal to find out how they feel about the changes. He joins us now live with more. Rondrell? Patrice, the discussion started after a high number of teachers were given a, quote, excellent evaluation. People began saying if that were true, then fewer schools would be failing. Now the Illinois government is wanting a change. Doing and, and giving some self-evaluation, I, I don't think there's any teachers that are opposed to that. Dave Meister talks positively about what could come out of some state changes. He's the director of Paris Cooperative High School. He thinks the idea of having teachers evaluating their methods and results is a good thing. So he supports the law change in theory, but he questions one part. My biggest problem is looking at a, a test score and quantifying it as, okay, this is the definitive measure of growth for that student. The most discussed part of the change is that teachers would now be evaluated in part based on how their students perform on certain tests. But Meister claims the proposal could oversimplify the evaluation process. And what's more, we don't know how exactly it'll work, and neither does he yet. That's because, according to the state law, many of the specifics will be determined by the district. It does, it does make for some, some great uneasiness about, about what's coming. And I don't think it's been very well explained. I think a lot of teachers look at it as we're flying this plane and building it at the same time. Now, Meister says he's trying to introduce his teaching staff to changes similar to the ones in the state. He says he's doing so to help teachers adjust. Patrice, back to you. Thank you, Ron Jell. The State Board of Education votes on final approval of the changes in the next two months.